of all the personality types, INFJ are the most rare. These people are imaginative and introspective, they can be quiet and reserved, but they also have a deep understanding of others. They enjoy the ideas that connect across disciplines. They are very observant of social interactions, and they want to find meaning in their relationships. They strive to always preserve the authenticity of their own vision, while staying true to their personal values and projects. These lead them quietly but profoundly in all things they do. An INFJ tends to be a thoughtful, imaginative person. Where they go in life is largely guided by their personal values and ethics, as well as the deep thoughts that they have. These personalities tend to be kind and caring people who quietly go about their lives being everything others need them to be without seeking recognition or reward for it. Before diving in further, you can stay up to date with all the latest happenings on the YouTube channel by turning on notifications. INFJ's empathy and insight is most often limited by their ability to access their intuition and discern the best possible course of action. Yet when they are in touch with their full potential, INFJs excel at understanding people's feelings as well as envisioning what's to come. They often see events on a much broader scale than most other people can, and this makes them insightful. They are able to see the intellectual tropes of the people around them, and many feel called upon to align their personal outlook with those around them. INFJ personalities often find themselves in the role of mediator or counselor, endeavoring to reconcile different feelings, emotions, and viewpoints around them. They attempt to fuse all these parts into something greater. But while they are good at understanding reality, they may find it difficult to relate with others on a personal level. Many INFJs can sometimes come across as affirming and enthusiastic listeners in the public sphere. However, in private, they're often pensive and introspective people, perhaps even brooding as they relentlessly question the givens of reality, these people question the superficial appearances that we may perceive and seek out deeper meaning behind what has been given. INFJs are often very aware of the implications that people's actions or words may have and use this gift for purposes such as counseling. One of the goals of apotheses is to build commonalities and lessen a person's sense of isolation. Once the other person has let down their guard, usually during a vulnerable time, they are open to change. A lot of INFJs are skilled at doing this because they have a talent for appreciating the positive aspects in everything. When it comes to using abstract thinking on their philosophical views or on the principles of a situation, INFJ types tend to be at the top. INFJs often believe that a solution to an impasse lies in the middle between two extreme positions since they can usually see elements of truth in both sides as well as limitations preventing either side. These types of conciliation can indeed be helpful in keeping troublesome counterparts from continuing to feud. They also allow for each side to feel as though their opinions have been taken into consideration. But if the INFJ doesn't focus on other things, it can come at the cost of moral ambiguity or they might not be able to see who is really at fault. They also might not see why the truths don't always show up when two arguments are set against one another. Sometimes one party is wrong and the other might be right. A mature INFJ could help by only agreeing with each position to a certain extent, as well as understanding where the human opinion is coming from. With age, many can also learn to evaluate the moral worth of actions and deeds on their own, rather than seeing them as bundled up with basic humanity of the person who voiced them. As such, they deserve respect. I try to view all in an impartial way, the INFJ can see both sides of the spectrum. They will be much more balanced when it comes to evaluating what people do and feel confident in speaking up when they need to. They have a hard time with directly confronting ideas that contradict their own perspective though, INFJs are the type that has the best skills of cooperation. Easiest one to get along with out of all the types. They are used to communicate solutions and value judgment directly on the other. These INFJs help others change not just in the direction they would like to but also in a way that is reasonable, fair-minded, and moral. I have summarized some key points below to help you understand INFJs better. Number 1. INFJs are often good at mediating and empathizing strongly with others. Number 2. INFJs synthesize their own understanding of the world with those around them.
They are often big picture thinkers and are constantly coming back to their work with a sense of meaning or purpose, where they assign abstract meanings to seemingly mundane occurrences, such that they believe that the greater is contained within the lesser and vice versa. Metaphors and symbols can be tough for AI, so you should still be the one to judge if your content would benefit or not. But they're really good at handling other aspects of content creation. INFJs are strong and productive people that can lead others to understanding what is going on in the human world and make important changes because of this. Thank you for watching. Amazing videos, am I right? We're a channel full of videos that will make you go WOW. When it comes to YouTube, we have a lot of videos for you. And if you subscribe today, we'll send you some other awesome videos.